Hey, what's going on guys? Cam here bringing you a new tutorial. Um, I don't really do many tutorials, but this one I thought it would be pretty cool. And this is pretty much just how to make a simple GIF banner or GIF however you say it. Um, so yeah, if you don't know, um, YouTube put in a feature where you can have GIF banners now. So yeah, if you don't know what a GIF is, it's pretty much just an animated picture. So yeah, I'm going to maybe do another one just like mine. So if you guys haven't seen my banner, it's just like this. Sorry, that one glitched out a bit. Just like this, and the, that bit fades on. And they all pop on, so yeah. Um, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on that, then let me know. I'm not GFX. This one was designed by Jamie, but I just made it pop on or whatever. So yeah, um, I'm not GFX, so I made these, but... You know, don't expect anything special. The speed art to these things will be at the end of this video, so... Um, yeah. So what you're going to want to do is get two pictures. One of them I suggest with like your clan logo and then the next one with your name and your social medias or whatever. So pretty much you're just going to want to do that. Um, import the two pictures, um, put them on your timeline and then um, fade them together. So um, if you don't know how to fade them, you just grab on the one of them and then drag it over the top of the next one. And just fade them until you're happy with it. Like So um, yeah, what else you're gonna want to do? Um, once you've got that happy, you're just gonna want to press left, like go to the end of this, um, the first one, and then press left once and split it there, and then do the same for the next side. All right, and then what you're gonna want to do is put, grab the first frame, so the frame that it starts off with and put it at the end of this one and you're going to want to so one sec just drag these drag this out the same amount that you drag this in so just guess about there maybe and just also just about so you're just going to want to about that so just keep watching it and just make it so it looks the same. Oh uh, yeah, it looks about the same. Alright, so yeah, you're just gonna want to do the same thing. Press left once, or right for this one, and split it with that. So yeah, what you're gonna, also gonna, so that's pretty much it. Um, and then you're just gonna want to highlight it, render it as an image sequence. Image sequence. I suggest um, PNG. Um, sorry, I just gotta, I'm just gonna name it. I just name it new folder. Who cares? So yeah, you just wanna wanna render it as an image sequence. Just bear with it for a second. Okay. So yeah, once that's done, you're gonna wanna go into Photoshop. And this should load pretty quick, I think. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna wanna open all the pictures. So you just find that folder. Um, down. Um, click on the first picture and hold shift until the next to the last frame and then click open. And then it's just gonna open all the pictures. So yeah, so if you just had that bang. Um, so yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is just click on that little drop down menu and click on the first frame. And then go to the next, like the first frame or whatever. This is like zero, and then go to the next frame. Use this little rectangular select selection tool and just um, select the whole picture and drag it onto the first layer. So like this, and then line them up. It should kind of snap together once you're close. But yeah, so you just want to want to do it to all these. What I suggest is just closing it as you go along, so then you know what you've done or whatever so yeah it's just gonna speed past this bit so yeah
Alright guys, now that this is done, um, we're pretty much just going to put the GIF together. So what you're going to want to do is click on Window, and then Timeline. This is for CS6. I'm not sure about other versions, but I can't kind of imagine it would be different. So what you're going to want to do after you click the Timeline, it's going to bring down this little menu. And then click on this little drop down menu and click um, Make Frames from Layers. And it's going to pretty much just make all the frames from every layer on this. So, um, yeah. Um, so what you're going to want to do is um, make this one about one second, so 1.9, and then make every frame until the first one, so until like the, where your name pops up. Um, so about 12 I think. So yeah, you're just going to want to make that one second as well. And then click on that um, one before that. Hold shift and click on the second frame. And make those about 0 0.1. Then you're going to want to do it for every other frame until the last frame. So this one. Make it until the frame before that. Make all of them 0 0.1. And then make this one about one, one or two. So yeah, one. Um, so once that's done, you pretty much just want to click File, Save for Web, and then for the YouTube, as you can see, when you um, edit um, channel, when you um, do it, it says 2560 by 1440. So pretty much you're going to want to click 2560, but it'll autom oh, sorry. 2560. It'll automatically switch to 1440, so um, yeah, you just want to click um, save, and make sure that the preset is set to GIF, not um, PNG, let's just let this load because it'll take a little bit, but it's almost done, it should be. So um, yeah, make sure that this is set to GIF and uh, pretty much just save it. So XE, pretty much like that. Just save it as a GIF. And uh, that's done. So let's save. Sorry, that's a little bit laggy, it's just for that my computer has a few programs open or whatever. So. Okay, sorry about that, we had to split it there because it like didn't work or I just closed Photoshop. But um, yeah, so once this is saved, just pretty much going to want to double click on it. Um, it will open in a web browser, on, like Internet Explorer, I'm pretty sure will do it for everyone, but that's what it opens up with me, so um, yeah, because the, it can't actually support, like the Windows program can't support GIFs, so. It just kind of just opens up in Internet Explorer. So just give it a minute. It will probably just split here until it opens. So yeah. Okay. So um yeah. Sorry about that. We had to split it there because it glitched out a little. So yeah. This is the uh, banner right now. Um, so yeah. Um. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um. If you guys, I'm gonna do another tutorial on how to make it. Well, I'm probably going to do another tutorial on how, to, I did, how I did mine, so um, yeah, if you guys want to see that, just please give this video a like, and a comment below, just tell me um, what I should do next for it, and um, yeah, anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want to see like a little speed up for both of these things, then they'll be at the end of this video, but um, yeah, anyways, this has been Cam, and I'll talk to you guys later, peace. I see your monsters, I see your pain Tell me your problems, I'll chase them away I'll be your lighthouse, I'll make it okay When I see your monsters, I'll stand there so brave And chase them all away A cup of
coffee still steaming Staring back at me and it's blacker than the night I'm awake but still sleeping I keep telling myself I'll be alright I won't And I know it can't get worse than today Sitting here She's trying to rehearse what to say See, she's in the bathroom and hoping I'm not in earshot While she's getting used to the sound of a teardrop Splash, it hits the top And I know it's been a while since you see me smile and laugh like I used to I've been in denial since it happened Just take me to the past Cause I just can't imagine losing you too Can't explain it so I keep it all inside Where my pain but it's mad by my pride She came to hold me and she cried Told me this and she stared into my eyes said, I see your monsters I see your pain 